Hello, my name is Imma Curato, and I will present you some highlights of the paper Central Limit Theorems for Stationary Random Fields Under Weak Dependence with Application to Ambit and Mixed Moving Average Field. This is a paper I developed in collaboration with Robert Stetzer and Ben Strong. Um, we all work at the Institute of Mathematical Finance at Ulm University. The target of our paper is to develop Central Limit Theorems which enable valid asymptotic inference for spatial and spatiotemporal random fields. One of the most important characteristics of the fields that we are interested to um, analyze, and for which we want to develop central limit theorems, is that they can be seen as a sequence of random variable, and the variables um, which are autocorrelated with respect to um, the time and spatial dimensions. This kind of feature can create several problems um, when we want to determine a central limit theorem simply because classical central limit theorems, as we very well know, um, they do not work under these kind of assumptions. Therefore, in the literature, there have been investigated different methodologies to uh, overcome this bottleneck. First of all, um, they rely basically on two ingredients. Um, the first one is assuming that the fields we analyze is stationary, and the second of all um, relies in assuming that the field satisfies an asymptotic dependence notion, as for example, strong mixing, association, or weak dependence. I refer to the monographs of Bradley, Brunisky, and Shashkin, and Dedeker et al. for a complete review on this kind of uh, dependence notion. However, in order to introduce you better the results of our paper, I would like to briefly remind you something about strong mixing. First of all, the definition of strong mixing coefficient. It does consider two sigma algebra, M and B. Um, we define the strong mixing coefficient as alpha M B, um, which is defined as the supremum with respect to the set capital A and capital B, respectively belonging to the sigma algebra M and B of the absolute value of the difference between the product, uh, the probability of capital A times the probability of capital B minus the probability of capital A intersection capital B. Once we have introduced what the strong mixing coefficient is, I would like to uh, talk about the definition of strong mixing random fields. So let us assume to um, be interested in analyzing the asymptotic dependent structure of a field X that is defined on an index set Rm for M strictly greater than one. We can say that this field is alpha UV mixing where U and V are two integers or they can also be equal to infinity. If the coefficient alpha UV H converges to zero as H converges to infinity. This coefficient is also defined as a soup, this time with respect to the sets gamma and gamma tilde, that they are two finite subsets of Rm, respectively of dimension U and B, and such that all um, the elements of the two sets are at least a distance H between each other. Um, inside the soup, we find the strong mixing coefficient that we have defined in the previous slide, computed this time on two sigma algebras generated by two different marginals of the random field that they are indicated with capital uh, X gamma and capital X gamma tilde. They are indicated with this notation because they refer, of course, to the marginals um, determined with respect to the indices uh, contained in the sets gamma and gamma tilde. In the case in which m is equal to 1, um, a stochastic process x is said to be typically just alpha mixing. And when we use this notation, um, we refer typically to the coefficient alpha infinity infinity h. Mm, that is what we call alpha in the case of stochastic processes. Uh, also in this case, a process is said to be alpha mixing if this coefficient goes to 0 as h goes to plus infinity. Um, I showed you this um, kind of asymptotic dependence notion because um, what actually can be observed in the literature is that there are several uh, bird classes, also random fields, for which um, 
it has not been so far possible to prove that uh, a strong mixing condition as the one we see in this slide uh, was, um, was holding. Um, the classes, for example, of random fields that they are named in the title of our paper, so mixed moving average field and upbeat fields, are um, typically classes of fields for which just in very special cases it is possible to show uh, that they are a strong mixing. Um, what we wanted to do in this paper, as I said at the beginning, is developing a more general um, theory that allowed us to analyze central limit theorems for spatial and spatial temporal random fields. So um, that, for example, um, mixing moving average and ambient fields. So what uh, we do in the paper is defining another notion of dependence. We call it theta lex with dependence. And um, this notion of dependence has a several characteristics. Um, the most important one is that it's a more general notion of dependence than alpha infinity one mixing, um, as we can define it for random fields. And is also uh, more general than alpha mixing as defined for stochastic processes. This means that this notion of dependence applies to a broader classes of models. And uh, in fact, we are capable of showing that um, classes like mixing moving average fields and ambit fields are theta lex weakly dependent. This means that by using this notion of dependence, we can um, analyze the asymptotic dependence structure of these fields in a very general way. Things that so far has not been possible um, to do by using strong mixing notions or also, for example, association or classical weak dependence notions. Um, let us give a look at this uh, dependence notion then. In order to introduce theta lax weak dependence, I have first to introduce you the lexicographic order. So let us consider two elements in RM. We call them Y and Z. We say that Y is lexicographically less than Z if and only if the first component of the vector uh, Y1 um, is less than the first component of the vector Z, theta one. Or if the pth component of the vector y is less than the pth component of the vector z for some p that goes from q to m. And uh, for q that goes from one to p minus one, the element of yq are equal to the element z to q of the two vectors. Um, once we have defined the lexicographic order in order we, we need another small definition. So let us consider a point J in our M and a constant H is situated in zero. We define the space uh, B, capital BJ, sorry, the set capital BJH as the set of elements S in our M such that they are lexicographically less than J and a distance from J at least H. And now ready to keep the definition of a theta lex weakly dependent random field. Um, we define such fields if we have that the coefficient theta h that is defined as the soup with respect to u of theta u h converges to zero as h goes to class infinity, where the coefficient theta u h is defined as a soup, also this time with respect to um, um, Igam and j in our m and a final set gamma that this time is a subset of capital B, J, H. This means is um, a set of elements in our M that they are lexicographically less than J at a distance at least H from J. And um, the soup is computed with respect to these indices and set gamma of this fraction where it appears the absolute value of the covariance the covariance between the function capital F on the marginal identified by the sets gamma and the function capital G computed on xj, where F and G are respectively a bounded function and a bounded and Lipschitz function. So, uh, moreover, we have the denominator of this fraction, the um, infinity norm of f, and the Lipschitz constant related to the function g. 
So um, this is a very, as we can see, very different definition, at least uh, from what we can see um, from this light respect to alpha infinity one or alpha mixing. And um, in order to determine this coefficient, uh, it is evident that we need to determine um, at least a bound of this kind of object in relation to the fields that we are analyzing. Differently from uh, when we um, focus on determining alpha mixing coefficient. In that case, um, we focus mostly on the, the definition of the coefficient is different and relies um, on working on the sigma algebra generated by marginals of the process. It's just to highlight some of the differences between these two um, asymptotic uh, notion of dependence. I'd like uh, briefly to show you an example of our field uh, for, for which we can show that um, satisfies uh, the data lags with dependence notion. So um, the field I present to you is called moving average field. And uh, we define this field on a cone, capital ATX. And using this integral definition, where F is a deterministic kernel and capital lambda is a Levy basis. Uh, in the paper, they also presented several other examples of random fields that satisfy uh, the DataX weekly dependent assumption. They are much more general uh, than a moving average field. So for, um, for starting mixing moving average fields and ambit fields. To conclude in the paper, of course, it's also present a very detailed proof of, this, of a central unit theorem for theta lax weekly dependent random fields. Moreover, it is given uh, um, precise computation of the weak dependent coefficients for mixing moving average field and ambient fields. And they also analyzed the sufficient conditions that allow to um, analyze and to prove the asymptotic normality of the sample moment of, uh, um, of these fields. Moreover, in the paper, it is also discussed the applicability of the developed asymptotic theory to karma fields. I uh, want to conclude by setting up a paper that for the time being is uh, just present on archive, but uh, it's going to be soon available also in analysis of applied probability. The rest of uh, um, the bibliography entries that you see here are just related to the monographs where they are discussed strong mixing association and in general weak dependence. Thank you very much for your attention.